Hello everybody and welcome to Judge Mathis and today on trial stands a game called Ali Ali. Ali Ali was originally a PS Vita exclusive but thanks to uh, I think it was only a timed exclusive we now have it th uh, by Devolver Digital or not by produced by Devol Devolver Digital on the PC. And it's an interesting game because I suck at it. I've been putting I've probably put 45 minutes into the game so far, and I'm only on the second level because I am a super hardcore perfectionist when it comes to these types of games. Uh, if you're curious, Ali Ali, much like its name might uh, hint at, is a skateboarding game. Um, but it's different in that it's meant to be played in bite-sized chunks. You can very much tell it was a portable game. And is 2D. Uh, I am going to be playing it while talking, uh, to keep that in mind, because I'm going to suck real bad while I'm talking. And uh, we'll talk about why I'm actually having a real good time. Uh, with this particular game. So, every level starts with a list of things that they want you to, that you could do to perfect the level. Uh, this particular one has to get a score of 40k, get a combo of 14,000, do a 5-0 grind, collect all the grind markers, which I've still not done, and of course, land a 5 times combo. And now, that that sounds really easy, and in, in theory it is, but here's the general purpose of the game. So, basically, everything you do is controlled by the left thumbstick. All the tricks are controlled by the left thumbstick, uh, basically how it works is, uh, as I, if I flip the stick straight up, I will do just a straight up ollie. If I do a quarter circle, I'll do a kick flip. If I do a full circle, uh, let's do a little, let's get some speed here. Okay. If I do a full circle, I'll do something else. Basically, every trick you do is going to be dictated directly by the left thumbstick. To gain speed, all you do is tap A, and, uh, then you're just trying to build combos from there and out. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, in theory, it is, and that's what I like about it. It's a really simple game, in theory, uh, but in practice, it'll kick your fucking ass. And uh, that's what I'm really adoring about the game. Now, you might be wondering, well, why the hell does it kill you? Why is it... Oh, I missed another one. Why is it, uh, why is it really freaking hard? Well, the game it has a built-in uh, need to kind of conquer these particular goals, right? To, to build this, this huge score. It's very much a score attack game in what it's trying to do. Uh, you're trying to build combos. You're trying to like basically build up as much as you can. Um, uh, as big of a score as you possibly can. Okay, ow. Uh, before the level ends. And these levels are about min a minute long every time I've played one. It's approximately a minute long every single time. So how the hell do you build up scores outside of chaining, ch uh, cha chaining rather, tricks together? Well, that's where a lot of the uh, the nuanced aspects of the game are, are come in. When you land, you might notice something, say, uh, perfect or sick or sloppy, depending on what I do. Um, basically, every time you're about to land, uh, you have to press A in order to not basically land like a fool, in order to plop down your trick like a professional. Um, and the same thing goes with grinding, which we'll get to here in a minute. Now, if you press it just before you hit the ground, you'll get that perfect score, which gives you a bigger, bigger, a much bigger bonus. If you hit it, not necessarily, um, oh, Jesus. Not necessarily right before you hit the ground, but bef but a good distance before you hit the ground, you get sick. And if you don't hit it at all, you end up getting a, uh, a sloppy uh, marker, which will slow your character down, as well as, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm talking, as well as not give you a lot of points. So you kind of have to learn timing. And because there's this timing aspect in the game, you're very much starting to get into a rhythm the more you play. Um, and as you grind, by the way, the way you grind is um, is to hit down on the joystick. And it's the same the same logic applies. If you hit down too quickly uh, or too late, you'll get a sloppy. Sometimes you'll just straight up miss the grind, um, which is which can suck. Uh, but if you do, if you hit the down button or down on the joystick right before you hit the grind, you'll get a perfect. And that will, of course, build you up score, so on and so forth. Uh, so again, simple on paper and simple to play if you just want to pick it up and play. But to get good at it, man, is it fucking hard. This game is no nonsense. Kick your ass hard. Oh, 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 oh I fucking missed those two grinds. And that sucks, too. The game is really built around grinding, too, as, I can, as you can see. It's really built around this idea of just chaining a, together a bunch of grinds. Uh, the tricks themselves are pretty limited. It's just knowing when to time your jumps and so on before you go ahead and do and drop the, the combo. So we can hear the, the crowd cheering, and that's the end of the level. I'm actually doing a little bit better now than I was before. Still didn't exactly do amazing. If we take a look at what was meant to get there, we barely got any of the stars. I think we got one to score 50k, but that's fine. We're going to keep going. Um, and this is 
this is essentially the game you're looking at. It. It's a very, very simple concept. And again, you can kind of tell it was originally meant for, uh, it was, it was originally meant for portables because of, um, it, its concept is all about kind of pick up and play. It, it's pretty, pretty obvious. It's, it's all about the pick up and play aspect of the game. Um, but what I do enjoy kind of how, how, like there's some sort of mastery here involved and I, Ooh, damn, I did well there. Oh, that was awesome. I did actually really well there. So we're going to go to the next level. We actually got a couple of stars there, gap the first handrail, as well as a couple other things. I'm actually not reading what I need to do. I'm just kind of going through it because it really feels good. So the gameplay works. Let's just go ahead and hit restart that. The gameplay works really well. And again, there's a, a, a level of difficulty that I'm enjoying, but it's simple enough for me to pick up. Uh, the aesthetic... Again, it's a pixel art, which, you know, some people are going to be pissed about. Okay, apparently I'm not supposed to uh, grind those if I wanted to get those things that were down there. Um, it's a pixel art, but the thing is, it's like not real, like it's not like a 16-bit game or anything. It's, it's oh, um, it's kind of its own art style, and the animations are really good and really smooth. Um, if you're going to go with a skateboarding game, I mean, you kind of have to have good animation, right? You want, you want to feel like you're sticking the tricks. Oh, I fucked that up. You really want it to feel like you're sticking the tricks. You want it to see the, how cool your character looks when he does it. And the game does a good job at kind of uh, portraying that to you as the, as the player, which is good. I like it a lot. Um, but one of the most impressive things that I have kind of noticed as I've played the game here is uh, the sound. Um, I really like good audio in a game. Uh, as you all know, I'm a, I'm a big stickler, as I say, every single time for good audio. And the the sound of the skateboard, the sound of uh, crashing even, and the tricks landing just sound really good. And maybe that sounds really weird to say, but uh, I think what it has to do with is um, a very minimal soundtrack in the background and letting the star of the, of the audio be your character kind of throwing these tricks. Uh, sticking these tricks, like running, even running sounds really effing good, right? It does. Everything sounds really good. Um, it just, I like it. The ground, the grinding sound sounds friggin' phenomenal. I love it. Everything in the game is just, uh, as far as audio is concerned, is, uh, is fucking sexy, and I adore it a lot. Um, so, that's, that's something that's really kind of going for it. Uh, the aesthetic outside of your character is, is good. It's it's simple. Uh, I have seen other levels just through research and see what they look like. And what it appears to be, and again, this is a first impression. It's not a review. Uh, that's kind of how I do things. Um, whoa. Okay, let's go ahead and see if I can maybe stick a landing there. Okay, good. Now we'll just go ahead and drop a couple tricks before I continue. Uh, so the game, as I was saying, visually, and this is where I fuck up every time, the game visually looks really good and it's varied. Uh, the levels are, go from regular down drab cities, and I think basically what's going on in the storyline is your character's getting more and more famous, uh, to like neon cities and shit, and you're like grinding on like weird looking like statues and shit. Um, the game does a good job at, at kind of having that progression. Oh god. That is a new animation for me. That is brutal. Huh. I'm actually curious. Um, there's other things I can do here. Oh god. Well. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Um, learning a lot of the new tricks and in, in, in how to time them is uh, is really important. Like a heel flip. It looks like I can kind of do these tricks a little bit differently. Yeah, all right. Cool. Okay, let's uh, move on. So it's not everything again is dictated by the left stick and as I'm playing more I'm realizing if I don't necessarily start down if I start up I can actually do like different like heel flips and so on and so forth Poor guy keeps getting his ass kicked now. If there's a couple of complaints. I have I give out the game which there are um, Sometimes it just feels like it doesn't register when I'm pressing the button uh, The game for the most part feels like it's understanding what I'm doing Uh like, I, I feel like I'm I, most of the time when I hit the button or I do the if I hit the joystick at the time I feel like I'm hitting it the game recognizes that and it does it But there have been points in the game where I'm curious if the game realizes I'm doing what I'm doing um, I know it sounds kind of weird, but I swear there have been times that the game itself I've pressed down on the joystick or I've pressed um, 
I pressed the A button, you know, right when he was about to land, and it just said, doesn't register. And I don't know if it's maybe that the game is slightly ahead of me than the joystick. Maybe I'm just bad, but I swear there have been times where I have hit the button. I know I've hit the button. I feel like I should have nailed a perfect, and it just doesn't register. It's like sloppy. Or I hit the down, and I just miss the grind. It doesn't even latch onto the grind, um, which, again, kind of bothers me. It doesn't happen often. But it has happened enough times where I've noticed it. And that could bother some people. So we're moving on to the next level. I want to play this a little bit more. Show off a little bit more of the game. Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Not sure what just happened there. But let's try that again. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I do want to play a little bit. Maybe show off some more of the game. Um, basically, also, depending on how you uh, are holding the joystick when you nail a grind will determine basically what he's going to be doing when he hits that grind. Boom. Ah, oh, see, like, I definitely feel like I hit A there at the right time. And it kind of bothers me that, again, same thing there. I definitely don't think I'm hitting it poorly. So let's see. Okay, that's a grind. So I hit A and I fucking... Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, it looks like it's going to be one of those harder levels. Um, but there, there's a good example. I swear to God, man... I swear to God, I, I hit A at those moments, and it's not registering for one reason or another. Oh God, that was freaking close. Hey, again, that I, I swear I hit down there. It's weird because the, a lot of the time the game is registering that I'm doing it, but sometimes it doesn't, and it's really weird. That was my own fault. Oh well, let's uh, get, try to get through this level here. Maybe show off some more of the more complicated levels that it has to offer um, and see what we've got. Okay, man, I missed. That was that was my own fault. Not gonna not gonna blame it on the game there. I mean, these are the games that a lot of people, you know, you can end up blaming it. Try and blame the game for your own suckiness. But yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, let's go ahead and jump up. Good. See if we can nail a bunch of perfects. That was good. We just nailed like a bunch of perfects in a row there. Can we... All right, this is gonna continue to grind as I learned last time. And like, this feels so friggin' good, man. That's what I love. Like that, that felt, and I thought I hit A there, but that like feels so good. It's very rewarding. The, the popping of the numbers is just built to feel good. And I like it a lot. I do, I do, I do. Um, so let's keep on doing no sloppy or sketchy landings collect the wrenches do a nose grind get a score Okay, well, I'm never gonna remember that So I won't even pretend I will eh. I think All right, that one well we hit a nose grind there. That's pretty simple to do uh, No, see no sloppy or sketchy we fucked it up because we're bad but if we can collect all the wrenches... Oh, see? No! No! No, game! No! I swear! Ugh! Doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter, because I'm having such a good time with this game. It really does bring back a Tony Hawk feel. Uh, when it was all about the ridiculous tricks and not about the reality of it, uh, of what skating's about, and having fun with the game, and just doing these insane things, and being a badass while you do it, man. You were... In Tony Hawk, it was all about being a skateboarding badass. And, uh, this game kind of brings back those feels. And I like it a lot. Oh, Jesus. Well, at least we got that. Ugh. At least we got that wrench. So we already got the do a nose grind. I like how it does keep track of your progress. Even if you kind of fucking, like, hit your face. It, uh, definitely still keeps track of your progress, which is nice. So if you've already done something, it's not going to make you do it again. Like, that was... I love that. Oh, I missed I missed the wrench. I'm actually going to go back and do that. Because I want that wrench. So let's go ahead. And you can kind of, like, shoot yourself down a lot earlier if you want to catch some stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we actually got that. You know, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this run going. I'm not going to go back because I landed sloppily. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm like, I'm a perfectionist, but... I'm not gonna like stop my run here because of that, so. Because of a sloppy landing. I can hear the crowd. If I fucking bail now, I'm gonna be pissed. 
There we go. Nice. So we got heart wrenching complete. We did a bunch of awesome tricks. And uh, we'll go one more. We'll just go one more. Um, there's not a lot to talk about outside of once you get the general uh, premise of the game. I mean, it's a pretty simple game to get, but uh, I was hoping I was going to get that, but I wasn't able to. Um, but if this looks like it's something that's going to be interesting to you, I highly recommend it so far. I'm enjoying my time with it a lot. It is uh, been really f okay. Well, see again. I thought I hit. I definitely thought I hit get down on the grind there, but uh, we'll continue. Um, but I'm having a ton of fun with it. It is super fun. If if it, if a little bit hard to concentrate and, and talk and play at the same time. It's one of those games that demands an incredible amount of focus from the player. In fact, I might have been better off recording footage and then talking over it, but I don't like doing that. I like to get you my raw motions on camera and not feel scripted in any way. Not my scene, man. Okay, if we can see again, I feel like I hit I hit the... Oh, God. I feel like I hit the uh, down button and the A button there. Oh, come on, garbage garbage we're almost there let's give it a one more run here see if we can get it get ourselves to the end at least and not I'm, again another another minor complaint i apologize that i feel like i'm throwing out these minor complaints but i definitely feel like i'm throwing out the joystick there this game is meant to be played on a pad by the way it is meant to be played with a joystick and pad i feel like i'm doing rotations like quarter circles and stuff every once in a while it'll do it like i'm doing it other times it won't and that's a little bit bothersome. Like there, right there, I definitely did a huge circle on the quarter pad, uh, quarter circle on the joy pad rather, not on the quarter pad, cause that's not a thing. Uh, uh, let's just get an ollie. We're not gonna make it. All right. Oh God. We're almost there, man. One more, this will be the last run. I'll we'll wrap it up. I, and I thought I hit like a really perfect there, but I guess not. And I thought I hit another one there, but apparently not. And another one. And another one. I definitely hit A. Ah, that's frustrating. All right. I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Overall, I'm really enjoying it. I have a couple minor complaints with the fact that I feel like the game might not be registering the buttons at the appropriate time. Um... Other than that, though, I'm having a real good time with it, and I think it's really, really fun. You can have these leaderboards and everything, and there's a trictionary in case you want to learn how to do some tricks and stuff. But it's really good. I would highly suggest checking it out. It'll be in the description below if you want to check it out. This is Ali Ali, currently coming out on Steam very shortly, uh, and already out on Vita if you don't already have it. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit subscribe for more videos just like it, and consider hitting that like button as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.